Hey everybody, welcome to Vacuum Wars and to my review of the Tinko A10 Dash cordless vacuum. It's the cheapest cordless vacuum I've ever tested here at Vacuum Wars, but after putting it through all kinds of tests this week, I think you'll see why it's now one of my favorite budget cordless vacuums. It's not perfect as we'll see, but it's certainly got a lot of bang for the buck. So links in the description and let's get started. The A10 Dash is made by Tinko, who I've found in the past to make high quality cordless vacuums. In fact, their super premium models like the S12 are some of the most advanced cordless vacuums on the market in my opinion. The A10 Dash is their cheapest model, and I think it's a Walmart exclusive, though it looks a lot like the more expensive A10 Hero, which is available on Amazon, but with more attachments and features. I think the best way to show you why I'm impressed with this little vacuum is to compare some of its test results with other cordless vacuums I've tested by averaging their scores on the various tests. For example, I measured its suction and airflow in various places on the vacuum and on both of its power settings and found that it was above average in both suction and airflow for budget cordless vacuums. It also has a head and brush design that really made use of that power, especially on carpets. On the carpet deep clean test, for example, where I try to find out how well it can pick up sand from the bottom of carpet, it scored a 97, which is one of the highest scores I've ever seen for a budget cordless, let alone the cheapest budget cordless I've ever tested. Even if you compared the score with cordless vacuums in the next price category, it still would be above average. That low profile head design and good seal meant that it was also really good with similar tests, like the crevice pickup test, and the unsealed suction test. Its battery life was good. Tinko says it can get 25 minutes on low power and 10 minutes on max power. And since it gets a strong 25 CFM of airflow at the head on low power, low power is going to be sufficient for most situations. All that to say that of all the budget cordless vacuums I've personally tested, the average battery life on their most reasonable setting is 22 minutes. So again, the A10 Dash is above average here as well. I know I kind of went crazy with the averages in this review, but there are a couple others worth mentioning. The noise level was 76 decibels on high power, which is below average, which in this case is a good thing. And one of the more practical things was its weight. Its handle was 2.75 pounds, which is a full pound lighter than the average weight of every cordless vacuum handle I've weighed, which translates to a less tired arm and a generally better vacuuming experience. But one of the most impressive things was its filtration. I had basically given up on budget cordless vacuums having good filtration. So when I saw that Tinko was advertising a 99% filtration on the A10 Dash, I was skeptical. During the fog test, we noticed that it wasn't as bad as we typically see with budget cordless vacuums, which usually just spray thick clouds of fog everywhere, which meant that it was worth putting through the dry particle test as well. And to my genuine surprise, it passed the dry particle test with no statistical increase in the baseline, which is really significant. I don't off the top of my head know any cordless vacuums in this price range that have filtration this good, Certainly none that I have tested, though I hope it bodes well for the future of budget cordless vacuums and filtration. As far as debris pickup, it was much better with carpets than hard floors, as it was able to pretty much pick up anything I threw at it from fine to extra large debris on carpets, where on hard floors it started snow plowing debris relatively early on, even with fruity pebbles, because of that low profile head design and relatively small gates. It was sufficient for fine and smaller debris on hard floors, and when I took it home, I found that it did what I needed it to do for the most part, and it did well with relatively thick rugs, but it does bring up some of my biggest criticisms about it. It had really bad handling on carpets. It's hard to explain and hard to show, but it just didn't feel right on carpets. It was almost like the wheels were too small or something, like it was just scooting across the carpets. Tinko does say that it's really only meant for hard floors and low pile carpets in the marketing material, but I actually think it can be used for much longer carpets if you don't mind this odd handling issue. It wasn't a deal breaker by any means, but it was just a little weird. It comes with a combo tool and a crevice tool, as well as the wall mount, which isn't that great, especially considering how Tinko likes to jam pack their other cordless vacuum models with all kinds of crazy attachments. But the good news is that other Tinko attachments do fit on the A10 Dash if you wanted to buy them separately. The final con is that the battery was not removable, something that I have liked in other Tinko products, but for whatever reason is not available here. So here's the recap on the Tinko A10 Dash. The cheap 
cheapest cordless vacuum I've ever tested is above average for its price in suction, airflow, carpet deep cleaning, weight, battery life, noise level, and definitely filtration. Its pickup ability on carpets is top notch, though it's a little wobbly on thicker carpets, and its pickup on hard floors is good, but not for large debris where you would likely want to use the wand. Its attachment set is lacking, but you have the option to buy more. Links in the description, and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars to keep up with all the latest cordless vacuums, robot vacuums, and carpet cleaners, and thanks for watching.